Hey, Kyle, we were talking to Caruso about this a moment ago, but uh, and obviously with AD's injuries, LeBron's, I wondered for you that played through all the last season, played through the whole bubble, um, I should have mentioned KCP too, how did you hold up physically? How did that impact your body? How did that play out, if at all, um, once you got to the postseason? And, and what do you think that this offseason can do to impact that if you did feel like that was a that had something to do with it? Um. You know, I, th I think it was a big impact for sure. Um, you know, I think we all kind of felt it during the year, um, going through the year, having soft tissue injuries, having uh, just little nicks and bruises, um, you know, as you would any season, but a little bit more this season, not really having an off season. Um, I think we only had seven, 71 days to get ready for the season. Uh, but you got to think, you know, after winning a championship, most of us took time off because, you know, that that was a long haul and, um, you know, a drooling three months. And um, to ramp it back up really quick, you know, I feel like that's why you see, um, you know, a lot of little injuries that we had, um, you know, some soft tissue, obviously, with AD throughout the year. Um, but, you know, I think a, a longer off season, it will do us all well. You know, I, I feel like, you know, especially for me, I haven't had a – uh, a nice good off season in two years, you know, getting injured and then obviously last year. Um, so it's going to do, be well. It's going to do well. And then because you uh, you wore a lot of hats, uh, right? These last two years, I, right now you obviously have the Dodger hat on. What is the what's the focus this off season? Uh, yeah, you know, for me, um, you know, I I don't care about nothing else but winning. And like you said, uh, I wore. You know, so many hats over the past two years, uh, doing whatever the organization and, and team and Frank wanted me to do. You know, some nights I was score, some nights that was, uh, you know, play defense, some nights play rebounding. And, um, you know, uh, whatever it took to win, that's just what I wanted to do. And um, I had fun doing it, so. Okay, Kyle Goon, please. Hey, Coos, just. Obviously, up and down the roster in this series, um, just the outside shooting in particular and, and, and some other aspects of shooting just didn't really rise. Um, I'm just wondering what you make of that what, and what factors you feel like um, really adversely affected your, your guys' shooting in the series. Uh, I'm not really sure. You know, obviously, I can't speak for everyone, uh, but you know, uh, you know, it was a tough series, uh, particularly for me, um, shooting the ball um, after you know having probably a career year shooting a three this year for me. Um, in, you know, it's just tough. It's tough to uh, end the season that way uh, after putting in a lot of work and being confident in that. But um, you know, it's always beauty in the struggle and uh, ugliness and success. So um, you know, I'm just. Really excited to uh, attack this summer and, and continue to get better and um, just you know just unfortunate you know maybe we hit a few shots uh, don't have injuries you know we're not having this conversation right now but that's the name of the game and uh, that's what life dictated for us so okay Dan Mucky please hey Cruz appreciate all your cooperation this season um, I guess. To kind of zoom out a little bit just sort of on this year and when you think about everything that you guys had to deal with, um, how much of the ins and outs, uh, did, did, it, did that affect chemistry in this group? Um, say, say, say it one more time. How much did guys moving in and out, you think, affected the chemistry of this group? It was such a strength for you guys a year ago. Um, was that a problem this year, you think? What do you, what do you mean by guys moving in and out? Uh, like injuries, um, lineup changes, starting lineup changes, um, unable to kind of find, a, a, I guess the lack of stability is probably the best way I'd put it throughout the season. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was definitely challenging. I feel like if you look at other teams in the league um, that didn't have the same type of injuries with us, they were able to play with the same type of lineups and same type of rhythm all year, and it kind of built into – um, you know, something more. If you look at last year's team, we didn't really have injuries. Everybody played in a consistent same role every year, and it built and it built month by month. And then you saw by the playoffs uh, last year in the bubble, everything was just clicking for us, and it was easy. Um, and I feel like this year it was a little bit different because obviously we had injuries, um, COVID protocols, people missing games. 
um, missing time, and um, you know it, it just brought challenges to us. But uh, you know that's not an excuse. Um, you know, it's just what it was. Did you guys to follow up real quickly? Did you guys? I know the hope is always like once we get once we get to the playoffs, it'll be okay. Um, when that didn't happen, do you think that was demoralizing? And when and when more in, injuries and stuff happened. I think the yeah I think the biggest demoralizing thing was obviously uh, you know just the injuries you know I think uh, when AD got hurt in January or whenever it was you know that was a little demoralizing but you know we got through it and I think we had a six and two seven and two stretch uh, feeling great about ourselves uh, moving in the right direction still number one in the West and uh, Brian gets hurt and then um, you know obviously roles change again you're going through it. Uh, we get Brown back, get AD back a little bit, and you know, getting fresh, getting ready for the playoffs, and uh, hoping for those guys to catch a rhythm. And um, you know, AD gets hurt again, and um, you know, it, it was just it was just a, a buildup of a lot of just different challenging things this year that um, just plagued us. So, okay, David Benman, please. Because you've been around. Along around as, as long as anyone, I think, on this team, and, and you also have some of the most uh, years ahead on their contract. Um, with anyone on this team, so do you feel like you are our stakeholder in this process at all? Uh, where, where things go this summer, uh, and staying in touch with various levels of the organization from front office to coach to staff to, to players as you all figure out where it goes. Uh, yeah, hundred percent. You know, like you said, I've been here the longest. I've uh, been through a bunch of different eras here, uh, a rebuilding stage. Um, you know, pre or not pre, but you know, LeBron's first years here and figuring it out, and you know, win championships, and then this year. So, you know, I've seen a lot, uh, been through a lot, wore a different, a lot of different hats uh, and roles during this situ, uh, not situation, but um, you know, during my tenure here and. Um, you know, I, I'm excited to see what the future brings uh, for us in, in this off season. You know, um, you know, I know only speaking for myself. You know, I think um, this year I, I made incredible strides, uh, becoming a winning player, um, making the right play, um, being a real valuable you know asset on the defensive end, and um, you know I, I got a lot of growth in me, and I'm you know I can't wait to uh, you know get there. Okay, we'll just take a couple more. We're going to go with Brad Turner, please. Who's at, at what point during this season were you guys able to separate last season from this season? Uh, did it all merge together and feel like it was two seasons rolled into one? Uh, I mean, 100% it did. You know, we didn't really have a, a bunch of time off. You know, obviously it, this year kind of felt like, you know, playing two seasons, um, you know, playing from last season taking a two, three month break off uh, from obviously COVID and the shutdown and then go, getting into the bubble for three months and then resting for a month and a half and getting back into it. Uh, that's not your typical NBA season of, you know, off season schedule. So, you know, it definitely felt long and um, yeah. Okay, uh, Rashawn Halak, please. Hey, Kyle, you kind of chronicled the whole season with the, the injuries and whatnot. How tough was it, you know, going through that, considering it seemed like any time you would clear one hurdle, then another hurdle would present itself, and, and that just continued happening up, you know, up until last night. How difficult was that? I mean, it was difficult, but if you just think about life, you think about your everyday life, um, you know, you have obstacles all the time. You know, you may have a, you know, a great – great month, great year of, of reporting and journalism and something happens and you have to figure it out. And that's no different than what we had this year. Um, you know, it just seemed like, you know, we had a breakthrough, everything's going good and then life hits and then you got to figure it out and respond. So, um, you know, I think we did the best we could with everything. Um, it's never about what happens to you. It's about uh, getting up and how you respond. And um, I think all of us, uh, on this roster um, and, and staff, you know, is ready to get back up and respond, so. Okay, and last question, Michael Duarte. Yeah, 
too. You said you had plenty of growth in you. What specifically this offseason in your game are you planning on working on, and how difficult is that if you don't necessarily know what your role will be next year on the team? Well, I think, um, like I said, um, and, and Trudell said a little bit and touched on it, uh, for me, you know, when I first came into the league, I was asked to come here and um, not come here, but I was drafted here, and the situation allowed me to really spread my wings and, and become a scorer and, um, you know, really, you know, take on that. And then as people come, you know, LeBron James comes, Anthony Davis, um, I have to take another role, fit in, and, um, you know, that was to become a you know a team player. That was to become you know a, a defensive-minded player. And uh, this year, you know, I had a little bit of all that. You know, playing a, a playing a winning style player, role player role. But then also, when those guys are out, um, you know, understanding and and trying to you know become a guy that you know had a little bit more um, you know into his role. And I think this year has really allowed me to understand where I could be and what kind of player I think I can be in this league. And, you know, I'm just super, super excited for this summer. Um, you know, I think the, the number one thing um, that can really help me is, you know, just adding a handle, um, a, a handle to my game because, you know, I think that, that definitely limits me a little bit, um, you know, because I've shown a great, great, um, you know, great strides this year from a defensive uh, standpoint, uh, making the right play. My playmaking has, you know, been better this year. Um, you know, had, had a career year shooting the ball from three, and um, you know, I think um, if I have a handle, um, it's just gonna make everything come together. And uh, that's the number one thing that I'm, you know, really harping on this year, this summer.